greetings and salutations exiles so in this video I wanted to kind of go over a few talking points and um, really the the aspect is I want to talk about uh, fan curve heat management and I, I know I'm producing a couple of videos on the 3900x you know the 12 core processor and the performance is amazing but there's some there's some tweaking or dialing or, or it's the, the the issues are really the heat management and uh, as you can see down here in the the bottom left corner it's um, I've had to do several uh, BIOS updates and a couple framework up updates or software updates and different applications to, to get this at a more measurable level and the problem with Windows is there's so much stuff running in the background you can see my cores uh, and I don't think Windows is really optimized yet for this 3900X, but you can see the cores firing off. And right now all I have running is OBS. And so I would think technically OBS would be a little less demanding, but my temperature is running at 44 degrees Celsius, or 44 Celsius. Um, and it, it fluctuates. And, and really, I've seen this down as low as like 36, 39 but I've, what I've kind of figured out is OBS puts like a 10% um, a workload on the system. So what I'm going to do here is I got this IQ, and um, I've been um, I've kind of been moving over to the IQ application because of my water cooling block. So I'm going to transition this. Uh, I'm going to open this up. I'm sure there is an update too. I just realized that I, my internet's been down for a month. So I'm running the HII5i Pro which is um, the water cooler and I just have you know I have it set to um, and so fan one fan two and then the pump and so right now I just have it quiet and balanced and you can see my temperature down here in the um, bottom left at 44 so if I go in here you got the way that I don't like how this these are small to start with I don't like how they're so tiny because as I'm trying to show you on OBS it says my temp is 29 degrees Celsius. I'm not 100% sure where that's coming from as, as far as, you know, there's a pretty big discrepancy there. It, if that's coming from the actual block itself, and maybe this is coming from the VRAM next to the, the block, but there's there's quite a bit of a discrepancy there between the two. So I would, I'd like to know where this is coming from, and it should say it in a tooltip uh, right here. It should say like uh, measures temp. So when I mouse over it, this should this all this font should be scalable, and it should when I mouse over it, it should say measures temp from um, you know diode inside of block. You know right above the block. I I don't know. I mean, but you get what I'm saying. So you have to for you to adjust these settings, you click on it. This is what it initially. Um, so you can double click on it and rename it, which is which is nice. But uh, to, uh, that's the hard part I had about this software. And then I was going through these settings. And if you click on performance, um, that's where you change, right? That's where you get in. You can j just default to where it's all devices and they're all synced. But if I, if I click on um, extreme, right, and then click on fan 2, now that is set to extreme. And you'll watch the RPMs bump from like the 500 ish to around 1200 ish right so now they're extreme and then i'll do the pump to extreme okay and now they're all extreme and you see these these starting to climb but what you'll notice down in the bottom corner um my temps are dropping i just pulled off four degrees celsius which is actually pretty impressive right and so uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I, I ordered their, their controller, which puts the rest of the fans in your system on the controller. So I should be able to manage all of these all these fans, the other three fans that I have in my system on this controller. And I'll do a separate video to see um, how, how, how that works out and kind of share my experience. But you can see that the it dropped three degrees Celsius on... Uh, over here on the right. So what I'm going to do now is now that I've put all this stuff on extreme, uh, I'm going to do another Cinebench. And in the Cinebench, it'll it'll help share the um, 
it'll kind of shape. And I'll do a, I'll do a, the two versions of the Cinebench score. So let's go to Cinebench here, and then we'll lo open this up. Right, you just download Cinebench. It's you know kind of a self-contained file. And then I got my clock speeds, right? And so my previous best score was a 7102. And that's, that's you know, amazing because you consider that the, I don't even have um, my old machine systems on here. Now what I'll do is, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll install this Cinebench on the old, old computer, which is a uh, Ryzen 1600. And I'll see where that stacks against the 3900X 12 core. So I got my I got my temps down here at 42, 40, and I, I really like how Ryzen does the performance based off. They have that integrated throttling. So and it's a good thing because if you put time into clever, cleverly managing your uh, thermals, if you have a good system built where you you know proper fan placement and buy high quality components, you're able to significantly boost or significantly manage your performance over um over a system where you don't you know you're, you just don't care and then you put it together and it, it'll throttle and, and manage it that way so i i like how it, this is engineered to where you you get more out of it if you engineer it correctly so this is my first cinebench score uh and i kind of wanted to talk about and showcase this this iq iq and this has had some and there is an update so i want to do this i'm going to do this with with the update and after the update um and see if there's a difference and kind of share my experience and maybe you know shared knowledge is is the kind of the best way forward so get my temps back up and i know uh obs is recording right you don't want to do this without obs recording come on come back there we go so 40 there there should be no other applications running so i'm just going to hit i'm going to hit run and i want you to watch watch the uh the temperature down here is a big proponent of this and then I'm also curious what my peak speed is, because in this last BIOS update that they released on the um, the 17th, the motherboards with AMD was supposed to fix the the BIOS boost. And so, because uh, my board, because before this said 4800, and on the box my my CPU says it's supposed to boost. So this now is correctly displayed, but I could never get a boost higher than like 4050. And, and mar part of that might have been temperature throttling, but let's see how it runs. Okay, let's get the... Okay, there it goes. And you can see the temp, the temp just automatically, it's still in the green, it's at 69. But the, uh, oh wow, the PT, the wattage, uh, wattage is maxed out. Look at that, 100%. Holy bejesus. The, um, and the TDP 96 and the EDC is maxed out. But the temp is way lower, way, way lower. And boost clocks, boost clocks are still like my max cores is the 4072. So that's a little higher. Temperature is way more respectable, though. And then peak speed, the peak speed is 4000. Way, this is, I can tell this is a huge improvement, but the things, oh, look at that. Look at that. So I scored a 68.38. Um, interesting. So I actually got a lower score. But the temperature, the temperature's characteristics were significantly different. That's interesting. That's interesting. And it didn't get nowhere nearly as high as it, uh, as it did in some of the previous videos. But all of the, the um, total socket power and, and, all of this stuff was maxed out. You know, I, I the voltage is another. Let me run this one more time just to see what. Uh, let me get my therms back up. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Okay. Look at that. All this maxed out. Total socket power. Of course, this will do a little better if I'm not running OBS. I think it's crazy though that the temp is is this low. How before the temp would just max out, and now it's staying below. It, the temp is nowhere near where it should be. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that wrong. The temp is nowhere near what it used to be. Is what I'm trying to say. Wow, that's fascinating because before the temp was like maxing out, and now it's so. If I even if I even if I could get this thing to where. Um, 
78. Okay, I'm going to run this one more time in, uh, I'm going to close Cinebench out. I'm sorry, I'm going to close OBS out and see what I get and see if that the difference is the OBS. But uh, thank, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, always, you know, if you like my content, if you like the information that you get out of my channel or if you like the, you know, the kind of the sharing of ideas, you know, consider throwing a like or a comment. If you, if you have, if you're problem solving these same issues, you know, you can feel free to comment. Um, maybe, you know, maybe together we can figure out the problem. Um, thanks for watching.